On this life journey, we so often forget to be grateful or even acknowledge our achievements because in the grand scheme of things, these things look small and meaningless. Take a car journey, for instance. You prepare yourself, Google at the ready, seatbelt on, and you check both your mirrors, the side ones and that middle one. You proceed to start your car. Now, if you're not doing this, I'm concerned. <laughs> Let's go back to that car journey. A fundamental practice of driving safely is looking at what's happening ahead of you. What are the drivers doing? And most importantly, what is the person in front of you doing? Your attention is not so much on what all the other drivers are doing in all the other lanes, but rather what's happening in your own lane. This was a full reminder to me of how we should be living life. In this social media generation where everyone is posting their waking up, eating at the finest places, wearing the finest clothes, passing through airports like it's a train station, just overall sharing their highlights, it can become extremely overwhelming and focusing on our own lane can become an issue. The people around us share the best parts of their lives and we lap it all up. If it's not that, then it's the 15 seconds of happiness on that one day of 365 days. Or it's that profile picture that changes every other day. The consumption of all these updates from other people's lives can so often diminish our own progress, our successes, and our attitude of gratitude because we're watching what's going on in the lanes around us rather than in our own lane. We fail to see the things that we prayed for that we are now living. We fail to appreciate how far we have come. And it's not because we're not happy for our friends and wider network who have bought a house or got a new car or paid off their debt, but because we're sad for ourselves and in turn, we want more for ourselves. We reach a standstill and it all seems like well, there's no way forward. This brings me back to my mirrors as we drive. Our mirrors look back at what the drivers behind us are doing. Their focus is on where we've come from. Perhaps we need to take more time to look at where we've come from and how far we have come. Let's stop diminishing our own achievements by focusing on what other people are doing and those who've gone ahead of us. Even the people we see behind us in our mirrors who drive past us, we can just turn, cheer for them as they speed past us because at the end of the day, we're all going to different destinations and we'll get there in our own time. In essence, it's not about the speed at which you're traveling, but the focus should be on the destination, the quality of the journey and appreciation of the destination when you finally get there. So celebrate your wins. For some people, that looks like getting up in the morning, having a shower, brushing your teeth, getting dressed. That's not a small thing. And for others, it's a new job that you spent months and months applying for. For other people, it's the new house that you saved and saved and saved for. <laughs> your gratitude will propel you to even greater heights. Just enjoy the journey while you're doing it.